Hi Professor Vishal Taylor, welcome to my YouTube channel Base Mechanical Engineering. In this video, I teach you the specific speed of a turbines and first I teach you the definitions of specific speed, complete understanding of meaning of specific speed. That means how the specific speed is different than the speed of a turbine, that means RPM of the turbine, that's two things is different. That I clear in these definitions of specific speed. Seconds, we derive the derivation of specific speed. This equation that is ns is equal to n under root of p divided by h raised to 5 by 4. This specific speed is denoted as a ns. Okay. n means speed and s means specific speed. And at the last, we learn the significance of the specific speed. So, first we move towards the definition of specific speed. The specific speed of a turbine is defined as the speed of geometrically similar turbine. Now what is the meaning of geometrically similar turbines? Geometrically similar means turbine have a same shape but its dimensions are different means one is small and one is large. That's Add size is different but is same on a according to the loop they are looking the same that will produce unit power means turbine output is the in the form of power so this turbine output is produce the unit power means one kilowatt power they produce under the unit head unit head means the water supply head is one meter that means difference of water level in reservoir and turbine is only one meters at maximum efficiency so when we run turbine which have a one meter head and produce the one kilowatt power and the turbine speed produced during this unit power and unit head it is known as the specific speed now let us we understand by simple examples this is the actual turbine that is used in the power plant so it is a difficult to construct a larger size turbines and testing on that then after implement because the turbine size is too large like as the 5 to 6 floor building so it is difficult to manufacturing first and then testing so what happened during the testing they are making the small turbine that have a same shape but its dimensions are different so these are two geometrically similar turbine that are looking same but its dimensions are smaller so the smaller turbine have a suppose we require to produce a install a turbine in hydropower plant that power requirement is 5000 kilowatt head is 250 meters and we need to find out the speed so what what we doing we making the one smaller turbines the power is 1 kilowatt they produce under a unit head and at that time we get the speed it is known as the specific speed of the turbine according to the definition it is known as the specific speed and from the specific speed we are able to find out the speed of the original turbine that is in rpm that's why these are the different okay that is the specific speed is different and rpm of the turbine is different so specific speed is given then you simply understand that the head is one meter and it's produced only one kilowatt power at that time we achieve the certain speed this speed are known as the specific speed now where the specific speed is used it is used in comparing the different type of turbine as a every type of turbine has a different specific speeds so these are the definition of specific speed now we derive the equation of specific speed that ns is equal to n under root of p divided by h raised to 5 by 4 now the specific speed equation is derived from the overall efficiency of a turbine we know the overall efficiency of the turbine if you don't know then go to the playlist and learn the different efficiencies of a turbine so overall efficiency is equal to overall means overall efficiency of hydropower plant in hydropower plant output is sub power and input is the water power so sub power is denoted as a p and water power in any case it come that is the rho g q h and divided by 1000 that means it is in kilowatt so these equations is further written like this way we find out the equation of power so power is equal to overall efficiency into rho g q a divided by 1000 now from this equation we make the another one equation that is a p is directly proportional to q h 
okay why we making this equation so overall efficiency is constant rho is constant j is constant so we remove the constant parameters from these equations okay so p is only proposed proposed on the q means discharge of the water and h means head of the water so power produced by the turbine is only depend on the discharge and head so this is our equation number 1 now next we learn the different parameters d means diameter of turbine runner b is the width of the turbine blade n is the speed of actual turbine and ns is the specific speed of the turbine okay so you need to understand this difference of n and ns u is the tangential velocity of the turbine wheel and v is the absolute velocity of the jet of water so these are different parameters now this is our main important equation in these equations we are just putting the value of q so value of q is just put in the form of equation of n n h okay so instead instance of q we are putting the equation in the form of speed and in the form of head so this q is equal to means discharge through the turbine the q is equal to area into velocity in the book they are starting from the v term so at that time you are not knowing why we are deriving these equations so i just make it here simple to so starting from this q and then we go to the reverse from the book so q is equal to area into velocity area is equal to pi into diameter into weight and the velocity vf is considered now in this equation pi is constant so we remove the pi and we return that q is proportional to diameter of turbine weight of the turbines and velocity of the flow now this velocity and diameter is also depend on another parameters so we know that velocity of flow is depend on the velocity of the jet means this is the absolute velocity of the jet and this velocity of jet is find out by equation of head that is under root of 2gh okay so out of this equation 2 is constant g is constant so this equation vf is written as v is proportional to under root of h now this value of vf is putting in this equation and the width is depend on the diameter so v is proportional to d so in this equation we putting the value of b is equal to d and vf is equal to under root of h and we get this equation q is directly proportional to square of diameter into under root of h this is equal to this q is equal to or the q is proportional to d square under root of h and this equation is come the q is proportional to d square under root of h and this d is also depend on the another parameters d means the diameter of the runner in a design aspect we learned that the d is find out from the equation of tangential velocity of the turbine u is equal to pi d n by 16 so we write this equation the u is equal to pi d n by 16 in this equation pi is constant 60 is constant so d is written as d is equal to u divided by n and this tangential velocity is depend on the velocity of the jet and the speed ratio so from proportionality of the u we written this equation the velocity of water is given by v is equal to under root of 2gh speed ratio that we learn in the design aspect speed ratio is velocity of the blade divided by velocity of the jet so velocity of a jet is equal to under root of 2gh so we written here and we need to find out the value of u so u is equal to speed ratio into under root of 2gh now in this equation speed ratio is constant 2 is constant and g is constant now this equation is written like that u is directly proportional to under root of h and this is the equation number 2 now this value of u is directly proportional to under root of h h is putting in this equation so we write that the d is equal to or d is proportional to under root of h upon n and this is the equation number 3 okay so what we derive so first starting from the q putting the value of vf d and v and to find out the value of d again in the form of the h n n so d is equal to under root of h n and this is the equation number 3 and this value of d is putting in equation number 4 after that we putting the value of q in this equation number 1 and we finally find out the specific speed now 
what we doing putting the value of d that is under root of hn in the equation number 4 before that i request to subscribe my channels share with your friend and like the video now putting the value of d the q is proportional to d square into under root of h instance of d we putting the under root of h upon n and it is a d squared and we doing the here square now we opening this bracket then equation is written that q is proportional to h square sorry h upon n square into under root h then this 2h is in multiplication means that power is come into the summation the here h power is 1 here h power is 1 by 2 and its summation is come as the q is directly proportional to h raised to 3 by 2 upon n square so h power is 1 plus 1 upon 2 then we take the lsha so it is come in the 3 by 2 now this value of q it's the equation number 5 and this value of q is put in the equation number 1 that the p is proportional to q and h so substituting this value in equation number 1 that p is directly proportional to qh so this value of q is put in this equation and it is written like that p is proportional to h raised to 3 by 2 upon n square into h now here again this 2h in multiplication so its power is come into the summation means 3 by 2 plus 1 so it is a 5 by 2 so p is directly proportional to h raised to 5 by 2 upon n square so this is the equation of power now we convert this directly proportionality into equal so when we converting the directly proportionality into equal then we need to add one constant so we write that the p is equal to k into h raised to 5 by 2 upon n square okay so this proportionality is converted in equal now what is the meaning of k this is equation number 6 k is the constant of proportionality now in this equation we are putting the power is equal to 1 kilowatt as per our definition when the power is produced 1 kilowatt head is 1 meter then the speed is known as the specific speed so instead of power we putting 1 instance of head we putting the 1 meter instance of n we putting the ns then what we get so substituting this value in equation p is equal to 1 into k sorry equal to k into h is equal to 1 so 1 raised to 5 by 2 into ns then we get that the k is equal to ns square okay now this value of k is equal to ns square is put in equation number 6 so p is equal to the k is replaced by ns square as per our definition so it is ns square into h raised to 5 by 2 upon n square now we need we are going to find out this specific speed our topic is to find out specific speed those seeds specific speed is come here so this n square is in here divided by so it is going in multiplication with the power and h is going in the divide part of a p so we write the equation like that way nx square is equal to p into n square divided by h raised to 5 by 2 now we remove the this square so what we require we are doing the under root in both the side then the square is removed so this equation is written like that ns equal to under root of p into n square divided by h raised to 5 by 2 now this equation is further simplified that ns is equal to n here there is a n square and it is in under root so it is converted in n and this it is the under root of p now here that is a h raised to 5 by 2 plus 1 by 2 okay that is a come in the under root that is 1 by 2 so it is 5 by 2 plus 1 by 2 then it is written as that as it is to 5 by 4 this is the whole final equations of the specific speed and it is majority asked in the university exam either it is asked for a turbine or either it is asked for a pump now next we will learn the significance before that I request to subscribe my channel and like the video and comment on the video. Next is the significance of the specific speed. The specific speed of a turbine play important role in selection of the turbine. By knowing the NS of the turbine means specific speed of the turbine the performance of turbine can be predicted. Okay, So we find out the specifics for specific speed for small turbine, small turbine from that we are predicting the performance of a actual turbines the specific speed of a different turbine is different 
for a pelton wheel turbine with single jet specific speed is 9 to 29 for a pelton wheel with the two jet specific speed is 26 to 40 pelton wheel turbine wheel more than two jet that is up to 67 for a francis turbine specific speed is 60 to 400 for a kaplan turbine specific speed is the 250 to 180 now what the specific speed indicate suppose we are making the pelton turbine with single jet and that turbine we supplying the water with 1 meter head and the turbine produce 1 meter power then speed of the turbine is 9 to 29 suppose we making the francis turbine which have a 1 meter in which we supply the water with 1 meter head and the turbine is able to produce 1 kilowatt power then we get the speed of the turbine is 60 to 400 suppose we manufacturing the kaplan turbine for producing 1 kilowatt power and supplying the 1 meter head in a Kaplan turbine, we are able to get the specific speed 250 to 850 rpm. That is the known as the specific speed of a turbine. Thank you for watching this video. If you learned and like my video, subscribe the channels and share with your friends.